Right. So you hold that in your left hand, three fingers below. And when you pull back, I want your arm to come straight. Okay? So yep. Go down, just straight. Okay? And open your body up. Now, after you get far more strength out of it, I'm just going to watch you draw because these arrows might be a little bit um, short for you. Right. So three fingers below the arrow, actually. Up below. My arrows yeah. have it this way. Yeah, if you do it at home, I, I keep it like that. Sure, if you do it that way, there's a chance that you'll just disturb the arrow. Ah. So for beginners, we put all three so, things So that, that explains why my arrow kind of goes that way. Yeah, so if you don't touch the arrow, you can't hit it. That's fine, aim lower. That's good. Okay with that? Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> You've seen the arrow, the, the stretching is going to cover. Yeah. So the old, the old cover always faces away from the bow. The reason for that is that it will come past. If we do it any other way, the arrow will catch. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Are you going for the bear? I'm going for the wolf. Alright. What happened there? <laughs> Did that strike? Going, going. Oh, wait, that way. Did that strike your elbow? Nah. Well, oh, I do have tendencies every now and then. Okay. I think I'll, I think I'll keep the closer one. Go for the bear. Aim straight at the bear. Straight at the bear? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been a nice kill. <laughs> Definitely been a while. Is it? Okay, last nice time. Make it count. Take your time. On the arrow. Tell me what you're aiming at. Uh, I think I aim for the fox. Okay. Six to the balloon. Okay. 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 Okay.